Hey, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're actually going to begin working with fractions. Uh, in this lesson, we're not going to actually write fractions out in like one over two. We're actually just going to be talking about how we can break apart shapes and name the different parts. So our learning goal for today says, I can partition a whole into equal parts and identify and count unit fractions using modules. So let's break down what that I can statement is asking you. Um, partition just means you're breaking apart and you're splitting it into groups or equal parts. Identifying and counting the unit fractions is just counting how many parts there are in your fraction that you broke up. So into your, when you break it and partition the shape, let's say you break it into two pieces, um, two parts is your unit fraction. So you're counting one part and then two parts. The materials that you'll need for this lesson are a two 12 by one inch strips of paper. Okay, so it needs to be 12 inches long by one inch high. You'll need two of those and you'll need your ruler. So make sure you grab those materials, cut out your strips already because you're gonna jump right into dividing those into equal parts in our lesson. So make sure you grab those and then click play when you're ready to go over and begin the lesson. All right, friends, so first we're gonna start with partitioning fraction strips into equal parts. Remember partitioning this just means that you are going to break it into parts. Okay, so here is our fraction strip that we're going to start with. Okay, so measure your strip of paper using inches. How long is it, friends? So grab that ruler, put it on top, make sure you're using the inches side, not your centimeter side of your ruler. And how long is it? It's 12 inches. Okay, so both strips of paper that you're going to need should be 12 inches. All right, so you're going to make a small mark at the, at six inches on the top and bottoms of the strip. And then you're gonna connect the two points with a line. So I'll show you how to do it and then I'll give you guys a minute to do that as well. So here I'm gonna take my ruler. At six inches, I'm gonna put a little line. Then at the bottom, I'm gonna move my ruler down, put another dot for six inches, and then I'll connect those, okay? So go ahead and pause the video. You're going to do the same thing. So find six inches. Draw a, top, um, a dot on the top and the bottom and then connect those lines and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, yours should look just like mine. All right, so how many equal parts have we split the paper into now? And there's two, right? Okay. The fractional unit for two equal parts is halves. So we talk about the fractional unit is halves when you have two parts. What fraction of the whole strip is one of the parts? So if I just talk about one of the parts, how much do I have? I have one half. Okay, so before we get to this one, this is one half and this is another half on this side. So how do we know these parts are equal? Well, yeah, so if you fold your paper in half, you're gonna know that both sides is exactly the same. They match perfectly, okay? If you look at your ruler, you can see that one is six inches and the other is six inches. So those are exactly the same. You can also think about it as division. We have 12 inches. If you divide that in half, which is by, by two, you get six. Or you can think about it as multiplication. So we can double it, okay? So six times two is 12. Or you can think about it as six inches plus six inches gives you 12 in inches. So they're equal in length. Okay, so now we're gonna split this into fourths. So you're gonna take the same strip of paper that you have, okay? And we're gonna mark inches at, mark small marks at inches, three inches and nine inches at the top and the bottom, and then connect the two points with a line. So I'll model for you again, and then you guys will pause and do the same thing. So here we have our ruler. I'm gonna make a dot at three inches and at nine inches. I'm gonna slide my ruler down so I can make my inches on the bottom of the paper as well. Take your ruler away and connect the dots. Okay, so pause the video. Go ahead and do the same thing. Your directions are right there, three inches and nine inches. Draw the top and the bottom and then connect the lines and then click play when you're ready for the next step.
All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, yours should look just like mine. All right, so how many equal parts have we split the paper into now? Yeah, four. So we have one, two, three, four. The fractional unit for four equal parts is fourths. Okay, so when we had two equal parts, it was halves. Now that we have four equal parts, it's fourths. All right, so what fraction of the whole strip is one of the parts? So last time it was halves and one half. Now it's fourths, so one part would be one fourth. You got it. So how do we know these parts are equal? Yeah, so it's kind of like the same way we did last time, right? So you can know that we can divide this 12 inches up into um, four parts, which would be divided by four, which gives us three inches for each one. So we can look at it that way. We can think about multiplication with this as well. Um, if you fold them on top of each other over and over, you're going to notice that they all line up at the same place. All right, so let's take your second paper strip. So put that other one that we just did to the side, and now you need your blank paper strip, your other paper strip that's blank. Okay, so we're gonna make a small mark at four inches and eight inches on the top and the bottom, and we're gonna connect the points with a line. So here we go, four inches, eight inches, top and the bottom, and then you're gonna connect. So go ahead and pause the video, do that on your second paper strip, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends. So how many equal parts have we split the paper into now? Three. The fractional unit for three equal parts is thirds. Okay, so two equal parts is halves, four equal parts is fourths, three equal parts is thirds. What fraction of the whole strip is one of the parts? One third, you got it. Okay, so again, how do we know these parts are equal? Take a minute, pause the video, think about how these might be equal, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends. So you can think about it. If I fold these all on top of each other again, they're going to end up being the same length. All right, so now we're going to turn this into a new part of our fraction. So right now we're modeling thirds. Now you're going to mark at inches 2, 6, and 10 this time. Okay, so 2, 6, and 10. Do that on the top and the bottom, and then connect your lines. Okay, so pause the video. Go ahead and do that to your fraction strip, marking at 2, 6, and 10. Connect the dots and turn them into a line, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Here's what yours should look like, okay? And so how many equal parts have we split the paper into now? Yeah, we've split it into six equal, place, equal parts. So the fractional unit for six equal parts is sixths. What fraction of the whole strip is one of the parts? Yeah, one sixth, you guys got it. So again, how are these parts equal? We know that they are because you can use division to split up your 12 inches, divide it by six, and you would end up with two on each one. You could multiply to find out that they're the same, and you can also fold them on top of each other to see that they're the same. Okay, so all those same strategies we talked about with the previous ones. Okay, so now you can push that to the side, and I'm gonna model for you how we can partition a whole amount of liquid into equal parts. Okay, so just as we measured the whole strip of paper with a ruler to make halves, now we're gonna measure precisely to make two equal parts of a whole amount of liquid. So we're gonna kinda talk about how we can use it to measure liquid as well. So here, use your mind to imagine that these are two cups, okay? I know that they're just squares, but use your imagination to be able to think about how they're cups, okay? 
All right, so here I'm gonna draw this line at one fourth, okay? So this is about one fourth of my cup, okay? If I were to stack four of those on top, that would be four equal parts to give me my whole. So I'm gonna fill this part up with water. Now I'm gonna take this and pour it into the other cup, okay? I'm gonna draw a line across to represent my one fourth. Now I'm gonna fill up the cup on the right again, and I'm gonna pour into this cup also. Okay, got to keep those fraction lines there to represent the parts that we had. Okay, I'm going to shape that as well. I'm going to fill this cup up again, dump it in there, okay, and mark that line. And I'm going to fill up the cup again, dump it into my other cup, okay. This cup now shows the markings for half the amount of water and the whole amount. So here's the whole amount at the very tippy top, right? And we know that this is like we started with one fourth from our cup on the right. So each one of those parts is split up into four, or sorry, the whole is split up into four parts. Where's the halfway mark? So where's like one half on this cup? You know, it would be right here, right? Because we would have two on each side. So we're gonna compare the strip that we partitioned into two equal parts and the liquid partitioned into two equal parts. How are they the same? How are they different? So they both have the same on both sides, right? Now, they're a little bit different because we kind of split them up into quarters or one, um, one fourth. So this one, even though it has two parts on here, it's still split in half because it's the same on both sides, the top and the bottom. Same as what's on our bottom with our fraction strip that we have. They're the same on both sides, okay? So just a different way to look at it. We can also measure and use our fractions to help us measuring liquids too, not just measuring things um, like in our strip that are straight across. I'm sure many of you have measured liquids um, if you've helped anyone bake anything or cook anything. So that's definitely a very common time that you're gonna see fractions. Okay, so high five to you guys. You guys did a great job partitioning a whole into equal parts and identifying the unit fractions. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.